Good morning. Today I thought we could talk about the nature of reality. And why is that important? Well, for one thing, knowledge is power. And we are stepping into our empowerment as co-creators of life with the divine. Um, that's what this whole shift that humanity is going through, that the planet, in fact, is going through, is all about. And for another thing, it shakes us out of the maya, the illusion that this physical material realm is reality, <laughs> because it's not. It's like a shadow play of of deeper levels of reality. So I don't know if you know what a shadow play is, but it's kind of like when, um, sort of along the lines of when you make, you know, little shadow puppets from a light source, like little hand rabbits and stuff. Um, shadow plays were a, a form of theater where they would shine a light and then project your shadow onto a screen of people or puppets or whatever. And that's what's happening with reality. That's really what the physical world is. The light, it, it's such a great metaphor, the light is um, the foundational, like the, you could call it the fabric of reality because everything is made of light, literally. Everything is made of photons. And if you imagine the light of like the source of the divine coming through and shining past our our thought forms they're creating the illusion of this physical reality like the I'm sorry that's not very clear <laughs> let me try again if the imagine the divine light shining past our beliefs and our thoughts and our feelings and our ideas and as it shines past those they create a shadow and the shadow is projected onto this physical stage that we call the world so the world is an expression of or a reflection of in a way all of the things that we think of and that we feel. That's a key to know when you're interested in doing magic or manifestation or miracles because that's, you know, that's really the crux of it. See, understand that on a deep level all that exists is consciousness. And another way of saying that is energy and information. So imagine that there's this soup <laughs> of, of consciousness that permeates everything. It fills all the space between the stars. It fills the space between the molecules. It fills the spaces, the almost unimaginably infinite spaces of uh, the inner atomic atomic realm, right? The, the space between the nucleus and the electrons, for instance is filled with this soup and the the base of the soup like the water of the soup is energy energy is what's containing it all and inside of that energy is information which in this analogy would be chunks of uh, carrots and beets and tofu or beef or whatever you might want to put in your soup and 
That's the information that's suspended in this energy field. And that is kind of what consciousness is like, the, the infinite consciousness, the, what has been called the mind of God, or the divine matrix, or the quantum field, or the source realm. You know, all of these things describe the same thing, the goddess. They all describe the same thing, which is this consciousness, which is this amalgam of information and energy. Another way of thinking of that is like you can imagine that the energy is kind of like a computer. You know, it's the framework, it's the hardware that's holding everything and the information is the software it's the programs installed in the energy the energy it vibrates at certain frequencies like my sound waves that are coming across to you now it's vibration at different frequencies that creates information that you can understand as my voice and my words and in the same way, energy vibrates with information in, like, really the same way. <laughs> I don't even think that's an analogy. I think it's actually how it works, you know? Energy vibrates with information, and they are inseparable, really. Like, and we call those so many different things. Energy we call the Divine Feminine, and information we call the Divine Masculine. But you, in, in, the, in the base of it, when you really perceive right through it to the, to the source, it's all one. It's all consciousness. So how does this come up today? <laughs> well, I don't even, the reason I even tell you why it comes up today is because I don't know if you know this, but um, the process that we're doing here with these daily videos is taking real life, like what's really going on today, and then using that as a, a, a launching pad for spiritual awareness. So that's why I like to tie in these topics with where they came from and what's going on for me today. Today is the spiritual practice. So today I was noticing um, I was noticing the energy in my house, how it's becoming lighter, brighter, clearer, smoother. It's just becoming it's becoming more refined. It's a very nice energy at this point. And part of that may be, if you've been following these, we've been doing decluttering. <laughs> and also, I think a large part of it is um, the love practice that I've been doing and the um, power of eight practices that I've been doing almost daily, like six, seven times a week. I'm doing these Power of Eight groups, uh, various forms of them. I don't want you to, I don't want to give the wrong impression and think it's exactly like Lynn McTaggart describes. Um, we've, I've kind of been evolving my own version of this and making it, I think, more complete. But I don't want to get into that and I certainly don't want to uh, diss Lynn McTaggart in any way because what she's doing is so important and so valuable and and fantastic. So I have nothing but the greatest respect for her. So at any rate, um, these daily practices are shifting the energy in myself, and therefore, inevitably, shifting the energy around me. 
because there is no separation between inside myself and around me, right? There's no separation between anything. But that's not where we're going today. Where we're going today is that made me think of it. I was just feeling into the spaces between the molecules, the spaces between the atoms in the house, and noticing how clear and smooth and bright they were feeling. And that just started me thinking about the consciousness that permeates everything that's underlying all of this and how we're changing consciousness. We're changing the mind of God, essentially. We're changing the experience of God by doing our own practices, by doing this work, by participating in the co-creation. That's what I really love about the power of eight. Well, there's so many things. But that that basic group manifestation product mm, process is, for me, clearly stepping into our roles as co-creators. I think what I'm developing now is so potent and even the simple version of that like the Lynn McTaggart her her original version which she's pared down to essentials is so powerful for this and I think I've talked about this before that I've had this vision of us all doing this in the future that this is the technology by which we change our world in the future and Somehow that led to the whole consciousness thing. I think it was just being more aware of that level of reality, feeling it shift and becoming more aware of how I'm changing the energy and changing the information and changing the entire consciousness of this house. It's showing up in so many ways. It's showing up in the improved relationship between my spouse and and me. We are getting along better. We're laughing more. We're taking things less seriously, including ourselves, which is, you know, the best thing is taking ourselves less seriously. And just the whole calibration of our energy, of our relationship, has been uplifted and refined to this much more beautiful, harmonious state. And it's largely because of the work I'm doing. I've been doing such intensive work here for about a year, uh, maybe two, that it's really starting to influence the entire environment and everything and everyone around me. And that's always lovely to see and sometimes we don't stop to notice you know like things are changing around us and things are changing in us and it's often the hardest thing to notice that and really not be stuck in the past and just kind of assuming that it's as it always has been but coming into the present and feeling and looking deep into deeper reality and seeing what's going on And then, of course, you know, just feeling the thankfulness for that and letting that energy grow and swell and radiate out from us because that's the best, you know, in a nutshell, maybe the best form of magic and prayer that we can do is just gratitude, appreciation and enjoyment and gratitude. So, oh, we've gone way over time, and I don't even know if I covered what I was intending to, but um, I guess it was just a look into deeper reality today, and maybe the value of doing our own work, even though we wish everything around us and everyone around us would do the changing. When we do our own work, everything around us and everyone around us changes. 
So let's make that a practice for today. Let's see if we can't bring awareness to the consciousness between the spaces in the atoms, between the stars, and how we are participating in that, how it, we are reflecting it. You know, our lives, our environment are expressing that and how we are informing it through our own level of awareness, our own experiences, our own practices. That's a very subtle practice today, but it's a very beautiful one and, and worth experimenting with. So try that out and I'd like you to feel free to leave comments in the section below. I'd love to hear how it's going, how all of these practices are working for you, and um, what kind of insights you might be gaining in that sort of thing. So share, you know, let's, let's build the momentum of this with the community of the um, other people who are watching. And... We'll, it gets deeper that way. It gets better for all of us, more effective the more we all participate. So, you know, I'm not in this on my own. I'm not, you know, just here talking. I mean, I guess I kind of am, but ideally we're all in this together and I'm helping all of us become uplifted more and all of us are the teachers teaching each other and and the comments below right now are, I guess, the way we're really manifesting that. So let's all play. And I will chat with you again tomorrow. So have a, have a beautiful, sweet, smooth, energetic day. And I will see you then. Blessed be.